Morning. Big Red here. I have something highly unusual for you here today. And uh, I have a bunch of, uh, been noticing a bunch of guano uh, uh, feces at my uh, my bottom of my uh, house there next to my gable, which is about 35 feet in the air. And um, so anyway, I've been having some problem with bats. And they're nesting up here. I've got a whole colony of them here. You can see them. But they're here on my, my gable vent in my house here, way up high. So anyway, it's a uh, real nuisance here because you can kind of see I'll focus down here where you can see all this uh, all of this guano and it really really smells bad all that right there is guano built up and it uh, it uh, falls over onto the attic insulation and it also goes over to the uh, uh, outside the house there so um, anyway it's a uh, you know, and also smells like urine too, really bad. So um, anyway, we're gonna we're gonna try to eradicate these bats in in a safe manner here, and we'll show you what we're doing outside and uh, and how we do this without uh, without damaging or hurting the bats and you know and getting rid of them without uh, safely in a humane manner. So anyway, stay tuned. Bye bye. Okay, I'm back here, and uh, right now what I'm showing you is the uh, is the guano here on the outside the house here and a uh, big nuisance here uh, dogs are stepping in it all the time and it carries all kinds of diseases and very unhealthy to to have this stuff around your house so anyway uh, let me show you what I'm what we're talking about up here I'll uh, pan up here to the uh, to the gable and uh, let's see if we can see it here way on up there Gives you kind of perspective on uh, on on how 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 big this house is. It's a 35 foot roof up there. So um, anyway, what we're gonna do is we're gonna I got about a 30 32 foot ladder, and um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna hang some uh, I got some tin foil that I use for uh, this insulation. It's a like a bubble foam, and it's a real real strong uh, uh, material that won't tear or anything. What we're going to do is we're going to uh, put this on the top of the ladder and put it over next to where the bats are and uh, put it in a couple couple strips of it and let it kind of dangle in the wind and uh, hopefully that will scare the bats off and uh, that way we don't have to worry about them coming out uh, coming out and biting us and uh, harming them as well so anyway hopefully we can do this without even having to climb the ladder so uh, anyway stay tuned we'll show you if it works bye bye Came back here and we got a uh, neighbor came over and we picked this uh, picked this ladder up and brought raised it up and uh, you know let me show you what we got up here and uh, put some of these uh, put some of these strips here you kind of see the uh, see we got them up there they kind of they'll kind of dangle in the wind those little strips of um, of the bubble wrap and um, hopefully that'll deter the bats from nesting up there so. Anyway, we'll see you tomorrow. So, anyway, hope it works. Wish us luck. Bye-bye. Okay, I'm back here, guys. Uh, looks like our little plan, our little scheme with the ladder, with the streaming uh, pieces of the uh, of that bubble foam actually worked for it, uh, for getting rid of these bats. So, anyway, as you can see, there's no bats up there. Uh, and all's left is their, uh, is their mess. So, anyway, I'll be cleaning that mess up here in the next day. And what I plan on doing is uh, putting a Tyvek suit on, uh, respira full face respirator, and gloves, and uh, and uh, and, and uh, shoes and everything to uh, totally protect myself. And I'll go in there and I'll uh, I'll blow out all of that guano out with an air compressor, and uh, you can get and come in, follow in with a you know some bleach solution, and sanitize the whole area. And then what I plan on doing is to is to seal off the uh, with some screening on the outside of those louvers so they don't have any don't have the option of getting up under the under the louvers again so anyway that if you uh, you know if you have bats in your in your ceiling or in, or in your vents uh, try out this little method I think I think you might like it uh, sure works for me I've had them twice and it's worked both times so anyway hope you like it bye bye